So guys, when it comes to gaming laptops, you know, you can spend thousands on them. But 9 times out of 10, if you want a lower budget one, they're normally cheaper because they come with less storage. And that's what I've experienced. So I got this one. This is an Asus TUF FX505DT gaming laptop. And do you know what? It is actually really good. It's got a GTX 1650 in it, relatively fast. It came with 8 gigs of RAM, all that good stuff. It is relatively quick but my storage capacity was only at 500 gigabytes. Now with AAA games these days, you're talking anywhere between 50 and 100 gigs per game, especially Warzone, and it, time, and it tends to bleed all my storage. So I've been looking online roughly uh, about questions to do with updating your storage, and it is quite a popular question. So today I thought I would show you how to update your storage on a game laptop. So let's go. So today's video was sponsored by VIP SCD key. So let's go for a word from them. So go into the search menu and type in VIP CD key and click on enter. As soon as you do that, click on enter and type on the first link you can see. Type in Windows 10 search menu and type on the first one, which is Windows 10 Pro. As you can see, it's on sale for $20.47 and open to all platforms and regions. And simply just go down to buy now. In the discount code, type in JT20 to get 20% off your order. And as you can see, it's now reduced it down further 20%. And then simply go to submit order. Click on your payment type, which I chose pay. From here, all you need to do is wait for the payment process to be complete. And as you can see, your order has been completed. I have my order number and I just need to go to my buy-ins. As soon as it's complete, you will also get this link that pops up and this will give you your code to activate your windows. So go over to your settings tab, type in settings and click on windows on security. After you've done that, go to activation, change product key, type in your new product key, click on next and then select activate. And this will activate your new windows 10 key. VIP CD key also offer Office 2019 Professional for $58.51. But you can also go to the Buy Now page and type in discount code JT20 to get a further 20% off and then simply submit your order and pay through the method of your choice. VIP CD key also offer a great variety of different types of games from Steam, Origin, Uplay, PlayStation, PC, and also a lot of gift cards from Steam to iTunes to PlayStation at a lower cost. If you are interested in checking this out, make sure you go down the links in the description to find out any more information that you may need or require. So here we have it, guys. This is the laptop we're going to be taking apart and actually changing out. So first of all, what I'm going to do is make sure it is all powered down. There's no power left, so I don't end up getting a shock when I open this up. So now it's all powered down. What we can do now is I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to start removing all the screws. So all the screws are out and now I'm ready to take the back plate off. Now, yes, there is some tools you can buy online to make this easier, but it can be relatively quite simple by just clicking on one of the corners to actually get this undone. So here we are, we've got it undone and now we can see the internals of the computer and roughly what we're working with. We've got the battery, the uh, M.2 drive, which is already pre-installed. This is a 500 gig drive and then we've got everything else. So we've got the empty bay where our SSD will go. Uh, what we're actually going to be installing today and we've got a few other things so we've got the heat plates here that are covering the cpu and the gpu uh, we've got the fans the intake fans and this is also where the ram is don't worry about the ram i've taken one of the sticks out because i'm actually updating it but yeah then we've got the intake fans to make sure we're keeping everything nice and cool but what we are going to be doing is actually replacing and uh, adding the additional ssd which is going to go in this cage so and this is the one we're talking about. So this is a Barracuda drive. I got this off Amazon. So don't worry, links will be in the description. So you can go check out this for yourself if you want to do it. So what we need to do is take out the screws, which I've already done, and remove the cage, as you can see right here. And then all we need to do is secure the SSD to this cage. There is some securing bolts on the side, one on one side and two on the other. And then this is all I need to do is actually get this done. And I'll be back in just a second. So I've got the drive all into the cage and I've got the three securing bolts uh, that are all tightened up. So this is ready to be installed. Now it is very relatively easy to install these. You've just got to match up the pins from the motherboard on the laptop that match up with the intake pins on the SSD. And it really is simple. Just simply slide them in and connect them up as easy as this. 
Now, as soon as I've done that, I can now use the other two bolts that I've removed and actually secure the SSD to the inside of the laptop, which I'll do right now. So as soon as I've done that, we are pretty much all good to go. And then I can start getting this closed back up and loaded up. So all I need to do now is get the back on and put the plates on just like this. And there we go. The back is on there as if it was magic. And we are all good to go now. Our SSD is installed and our laptop has now got extra storage. So there we have it guys. So that is how you install an SSD into your gaming laptop. Now all gaming laptops might be different. A lot of them might not come with SSD drives. They might come with M.2s. And that again is relatively simple. But that is how you replace it on an Asus TUF 505DT gaming laptop. Like I said, I did upgrade it with a one terabyte Barracuda drive, so that will be in the links in the description. So if you want to go check one out, go grab one. And yes, they're not just for laptops, you can use them for desktop PCs as well as. But if this video did help you guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos.